Fade will replace Sova in the meta. Or at least that's what everyone has been saying since she came out. However, after a few weeks of playing and watching some Fade gameplay, I think it's a bit more complicated. Fade will be available in the upcoming pro matches as well, so it's really important to cover some of these important things that you should know about the agent, as well as some useful lineups. Always aim your haunt for high ground if you can. The range of haunt is really big and the line of sight is actually quite forgiving. If even just a little part of the eyeball can see a player, it will mark them. So the higher you can get it, the better chances you have of seeing enemies who are ducking behind cover. There is a height limit on it, but as you can see, it's extremely large, so this should almost never be an issue. Haunt has a fixed travel time, which means that unlike a lot of other projectiles, you don't necessarily get more distance by aiming higher and then running and jumping. In fact, the projectile seems to basically get max distance with a pretty flat arc while simply running forward. After you throw Haunt, you can see a green arrow on the ground that keeps track of where the orb would land if you activated the drop. Use this to land it on top of small and difficult spots like this B main window. It takes a little bit of practice to get the feel of the exact timing, but the little green arrow is actually a really big help. Haunt only takes one shot to kill like a Sova dart. It's confusing because it feels like it should be more of like a Reyna eye with more health, but even a long range shorty will take it out as long as a single point of damage is done. Like Sova, the Ares and Odin are super strong with Fade, especially on maps like Ascent where you can take advantage of Haunt's reveal or a marked trail that leads into cover. This gets even more fun if you are able to combo Haunt with Seize to hold your enemies in place and weaken them to make your wallbang sprays more effective. Haunt and Seize are the exact same projectile, so any lineup you use for one will work for the other. One of the biggest things I think we'll see pro teams using Fade for is to add a little bit of the old Astra tech into their setups. Fade can offer some super powerful choke point control, much like Astra's Gravity Well, by using Seize against rushing attackers. The only problem is that it can be hard to time it correctly, which is why you should combo it with info gathering sentinel utility, such as a trademark, tripwire, or alarm bot. Speaking of C's combos, Fade plus Brimstone and Fade plus Raze are two of the nastiest combos for clearing tough angles or shutting down a choke point. I could even see some double initiator Fade plus Sova situations where the decay from C's helps shock darts find some easy kills. And don't get me started on double wall hack. Once a trail has been taken by a prowler, it becomes dead. So don't just throw both prowlers on a single marked target immediately. Only one prowler can follow a path. Prowlers detect enemies using pretty much the exact same size vision cone as a player has. They also have a cone for detecting marked trails, but the detection cone is quite a bit smaller for this for some reason, so just keep that in mind. If you've never played Sky, you might not know this, but you should definitely be using the minimap to steer your prowlers as it's much easier to do that than trying to blindly guess or remember the map geometry through walls. Now let's look at a few easy but effective lineup examples that you can use or use them as examples when making your own. So will Fade replace Sova completely in the meta as the new broken wall hacking monster? It's hard to say. Sova's recon dart has so much range and versatility thanks to lineups and the bounces that it's hard to imagine Fade's limited haunt range fully replacing it. Furthermore, despite the nerfs, Owl Drone remains probably the single most effective site entry tool in the game, while Prowlers only give a fraction of the information. I do think that a lot of teams will be looking for any excuse to ditch Sova, much like they did for Astra due to the novelty of having a new toy to play with, and there is certainly an advantage to suddenly having a whole bunch of new tech that teams have never seen before. I think Fade will definitely be played on maps where Sova is already kind of questionable and probably ends up taking over a pretty large market share of the meta. However, like Astra, I think it's overreacting quite a bit to say that Sova is now completely out of the game, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both of them being played quite a bit.